Welcome to Recap King. In this video, we will explain Sunflower. This movie tells the story of a dreaded ex-con who leaves his past behind and tries to lead a better life with his new family. Amid this phase, he faces his real test in the form of a troublesome situation that threatens to push him back into his old ways. Will he be able to start a new life or will he be trapped in a dark past? Let's find out in Sunflower. Sunflower begins by showing a man named Taesig, who has just been released after 10 years in prison. Taesig is on his way to his hometown, where he writes down some things he will do after he gets out of prison in a notebook, and crosses them out when he does. Taesig then heads to a diner called Sunflower and intends to meet the woman who owns the shop, who is none other than his adoptive mother. However, the woman isn't there and will not be back until evening, so Heju, the diner owner's daughter, asks him to go to the public bath first and come back later. After that, Taesig goes to a public bathhouse and again crosses out the list of activities he's about to do that are listed in his book. Arriving there, Taesig seems confused about unlocking the locker to store his belongings, thus upsetting a guard because he thinks Taesig is deliberately playing with the locker key. Because of Taesig's geeky appearance, the guard man bully him. However, when Taesig takes off his clothes, the man sees the tattoos all over his body, and suddenly his guts shrink because he thinks Taesig is a gangster. Meanwhile in another place, several gangsters were seen bullying a girl on the side of the road. The gangsters are the men of Changmu and Yanggi, the local gangsters who rule the city. Two police officers were seen patrolling not far from the road, but they ignored the bullying and stayed in their car. Changmu, who was at a nightclub, was approached by Taesig who intended to greet his old friend. Changmu seems to have a lot of respect for Taesig, which shows that Taesig isn't a random person because gangster leaders like Changmu are so disdainful of him. It turns out that Taesig used to be a former gangster who was quite respected in the city. Not only Changmu, but Yanggi also looks very reluctant when Taesig comes to visit him. Although Yanggi shows goodwill when Taesig meets him, he then orders his men to monitor Taesig movements while in town. After visiting some of his old friends, Taesig finally returns to the Sunflower restaurant and meets the woman who owns the tavern who welcomes him with joy. His adoptive mother is so happy to see him finally released from prison after so long. Even though Taesig is her adopted son, the woman seems to really love him like her own biological child. Taesig then apologizes to his mother for what he did in the past, and the mother says that she has forgiven him for a long time. Even though her mother accepts Taesig's presence in their house and seems to love him very much, Heju doesn't necessarily accept Taesig's presence. She even blatantly expresses her dislike for Taesig, and thinks of him as a weak man because of his very geeky appearance. That night, Taesig is going to sleep, determined that he won't cry anymore, won't drink alcohol again, and won't fight anymore to become a better person and fulfill his promise to his mother. The next day, Jopan Su, a man who will run for government office in the upcoming general election, is seen campaigning in the market and making grapevine promises to traders so that they vote for him in the election. Pan Su is actually a mafia intent on taking over the city. On the other hand, Taesig is seen at the police station signing a parole report stating that he will be sent back to prison if he has committed another crime. One of the police officers, Min Suk, approaches Taesig and advises him to leave the city because the residents don't like his presence who caused chaos a few years ago. However, Taesig tries to convince Min Suk that he has changed now and will become a better person. Even Taesig intends to remove all the tattoos on his body to emphasize his determination to really want to change to become a better person. However, Taesig's intention had to be hampered because he had to spend a lot of money to remove all the tattoos on his body. After that, Taesig's adoptive mother appears to visit Pan Su and expresses her rejection of Pan Su's plan to buy her restaurant to build an elite area for the benefit of his class. She then threatens Ponsu that she will strike back at him if his thugs continue to make a fuss at her sunflower restaurant. The next day, Taesig finally lands a job as a mechanic at an auto repair shop. One day, Min Suk and his partner who were on patrol, saw Taesig who seemed so severe and diligent in doing his job. Min Suk then tells his partner about Taesig past who was a delinquent, even when he was at school, where he was one of the victims of Taesig bullying. Min Suk also said that Changmu and Yanggi used to be nothing compared to Taesig. Several years ago, the gangsters in the city were led by a man named Chodo Pil, where Changmu and Yanggi used to be his men. However, because Taesig is always causing trouble, Do Pil finally intervenes and orders his men to kill him. Unexpectedly, Taesig turns out to be too tough to fight, where he can easily incapacitate Do Pil's men, and even kill Do Pil, so Taesig must be in prison for the murder. After the incident, Changmu and Yanggi took over the leadership of the gangsters and joined Pan Su. 
Min Sook and his partner then visit the workshop where Tae Sig works and meet his employer. Min Sook then reveals Tae Sig identity to his superiors, but Tae Sig employer doesn't seem to care about Tae Sig past as a recidivist because he has worked well and diligently so far. The next day, Tae Sig visits Hee Ju's course, intending to take an English course. One of the teachers who teach at the course apparently recognizes Tae Sig because they had attended the same school. The woman then asks how Tae Sig is and the two are seen chatting casually. On his way home, Tae Sig is attacked by a thug named Song Jin, who has a crush on Hee Ju, and gets jealous of his closeness with the girl he loves. Song Jin then takes Tae Sig to an empty warehouse and bumps into him there. Since Tae Sig has determined not to fight anymore, he doesn't fight back when Seong Jin and his men beat him up. However, Seong Jin and his minions are very surprised to see Tae Sig tattoos when his clothes are accidentally torn off. After the incident, Hee Ju's attitude softened a little. Even she also treated Tae Sig wound. Elsewhere, Pan Su is seen celebrating his victory for winning the most votes in the general election. Now that he's been sworn in as a government official, Pan Su intends to hand over the leadership of running the biggest nightclub in town to his trusted henchmen. Chong Mu and Yang Yi are enthusiastic about the plan and compete to gain the Mafia boss's trust. But before that, Pan Su makes a condition, whoever gets rid of the Sunflower restaurant will run his elite nightclub. Hearing this, Chong Mu immediately orders his men to tear up the Sunflower restaurant so that the owner is willing to sell the land and the restaurant building to Pan Su. However, Chong Mu runs into Tae Sig there, so he immediately orders his men to hurry away from there. Chong Mu then apologizes to Tae Sig because he didn't know he was there. After that, Chang Mu goes straight to Yang Gi and scolds him for not telling him about Tae Sig now living at the Sunflower restaurant. Meanwhile, Tae Sig, who gets his first salary after a month working at a car repair shop, then presents a pair of shoes for his mother and a camera for Hee Ju. It was revealed that the small notebook that Tae Sig always carried was actually a gift from his mother when the woman visited him in prison a few years ago. Since then, Tae Sig has always written in the notebook about all the activities he did in prison and also what activities he wants to do after he gets out of prison. Hee Ju accidentally finds the notebook and reads it. She then writes that they are going on a picnic as one of Tae Sig things to do after being released from prison. Tae Sig, Hee Ju and his mother go on a picnic and take pictures like a happy little family. One night, Tae Sig runs into his old friend, Yong Jin, who is none other than Pan Su's driver. Yong Jin says that Pan Su plans to build a big mall in the area, but his plans are thwarted by Tae Sig adoptive mother's sunflower restaurant, where she is reluctant to sell her land to Pan Su. Yong Jin then asks Tae Sig to increase his vigilance since Pan Su is a dangerous man. On the other hand, unbeknownst to them both, Chong Mu's men see Tae Sig and Byung Jin having a serious conversation and report it to Chong Mu. Hearing this, Chong Mu and Yang Gi think that Byung Jin is trying to recruit Tae Sig on Pan Su's orders. They then hatch a plan to destroy Sunflower's restaurant in Tae Sig. The next day, Chong Mu and his men ransack Sunflower's restaurant and threaten Tae Sig mother into selling her restaurant to Pan Su. He Ju, who just got home from school, then hits Chong Mu with the camera Tae Sig gave her, then goes to Tae Sig and reports the incident. By the time Tae Sig and He Ju arrive at the Sunflower restaurant, Chong Mu and his crew have already left, leaving their mother looking overwhelmed with cleaning up the dilapidated restaurant. After helping his mother clean up the mess in the restaurant, Tae Sig then goes to Chong Mu and asks that he be reunited with Pan Su. After meeting with Pan Su, Tae Sig begs him not to bother his adoptive mother's Sunflower restaurant anymore. Knowing that Tae Sig used to be a gangster, Pan Su offers him a job. But Tae Sig refuses Pan Su's offer politely, saying that he's quite satisfied with his current job. A little that no one had ever dared refuse his offer before, Pan Su then hatched a plan to frame Tae Sig for him to be sent back to prison. Pan Su then orders his men to attack the car repair shop where Tae Sig works to get him into a riot and will report the matter to the police. The next day, the thugs storm the auto repair shop where Tae Sig works and beat him up. They also did not hesitate to beat Tae Sig employer. On the other hand, Pan Su then reports to the police about Tae Sig being involved in a riot. However, Tae Sig manages to restrain himself and doesn't launch a counterattack, so the police don't arrest him and Pan Su's plan fails miserably. One night, Song Jin visits the Sunflower restaurant and tells Hee Ju that Tae Sig is the one who killed his older brother, Do Pil, years ago. Hearing this, Hee Ju is very surprised and angry at Tae Sig. She then demanded an explanation from her mother why she adopted the person who had killed her own biological son. Hee Ju's mother says that Tae Sig apologized while kneeling and crying after killing Do Pil. Because of this, she thinks that Tae Sig is not a bad person and decides to forgive him, then adopts him as her own son. Hearing his mother's words, Hee Ju finally understands. 
Taesig then apologizes to Heeju for killing Dopil and says he will get out of from their house. When Heeju asks Taesig to stay with them, Heeju says that she has forgiven his actions and instead wants to thank him for killing her brother who was always rude and beat his mother all his life. The next day, Taesig adoptive mother comes to Pansu and threatens to expose his crime of ordering Dopil to kill Taesig years ago, for which she has concrete evidence that could lead Pansu to prison. Yong Jin who knows the conversation then alerts Taesig and asks him to stay alert because Pan Su will do anything to get what he wants, including getting rid of people who get in his way. Pan Su kicks off his action by ordering his men to attack Heeju who is crossing the street. She was hit with a hard object on the head, so she had to be hospitalized for intensive treatment. Because her daughter was attacked, Taesig adoptive mother decides to sell Sunflower Restaurant to Pan Su for the safety of her entire family. After that, Taesig goes to Pan Su and says that his adoptive mother has agreed to sell Sunflower Restaurant and they will all move from there. Unexpectedly, Pan Su requests that Taesig's right hand be paralyzed so that he won't be able to fight anymore. Byung Jin was the one who executed by cutting the vein in Taesig's right hand. But it turns out that Byung Jin only injured Taesig's right hand with a non-fatal cut, so he can still use his right hand as usual. Taesig then goes to Heeju and says he will protect her and her mother forever. Even though Sunflower's restaurant is now his, Pan Su still seems to want to get rid of Taesig's adoptive mother. He then orders Yang Gi to kill her and retrieves evidence explaining his involvement in Taesig's assassination attempt several years ago. Yang Gi jumps into action, killing Taesig's adoptive mother and disguising her death as suicide. Taesig then feels very devastated by the death of his mother who he loves so much. He initially thought that his mother died by suicide. But apparently he found a clue, namely Yang Gi's earrings in his mother's room, so he finally realized that Yang Gi had killed his mother on Pan Su's orders. Knowing this fact, Tae Sig can no longer keep his promise. He cried while drinking alcohol until he was drunk because he could not bear the sadness over the death of his mother who he loved so much. On the other hand, Pan Su and the rest of his crew celebrate their success in getting the Sunflower Restaurant and realizing plans to build a mall and an elite area. But then, they are startled by the sound of someone crying which is none other than Taesig. The man said that he had broken his promise to his mother after her death, by which time he would now slaughter everyone in the place. Taesig then asks Byung Jin to get out of there unless he wants to die at his hands. Even though he's alone, Taesig manages to kill all of Pan Su's men, including Chang Mu and Yang Yi, until he manages to kill Pan Su and set his nightclub on fire. In a state of severe injury and in a blazing fire, Taesig sits, remembering the good memories he had with his mother and He Ju. Before long, Taesig finally dies in the blazing fire. The film ends by showing Heeju who has recovered from her injuries and is now the smartest student in the mathematics department like her dream. Heeju is seen reminiscing about the good times with her mother and Taesig. The moral of this film is, never to give up and hesitate to repent after making a mistake. Because every action done wholeheartedly, including repenting, will certainly bring happiness to oneself and others. Like Taesig who is determined to repent and become better after killing someone else. He gets opportunities from the people around him because he really wants to change his life for the better. And don't forget, thank the people who have allowed us to be better. Because while everyone hates us for our bad deeds in the past, they still see the good in us.